For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to automate the main controls in Reason, things like volume and also pan. Now, it's slightly different to Cubase. I'll show you how in a second. I'm doing a rewire version of this, but actually if you're using Reason by itself, the same principles will ap apply. So, first thing I'm going to do is click on Reason. So I've clicked on it here. Now, all of the volume controls if you're using it with just a stereo out like I am all of the volume controls you're going to be using are here on the mixing disc and all the panning controls are here as well and also uh, things like the reverb sends and the EQ now you will see when you go down here to the sequencing window in Q, uh, Reason there is unfortunately no mixing disc lane at the moment so we're going to have to set one up so you go back up to the mixing desk and right click in any of this area here and create a track for the mixer. Now what that will do is set a track up down in the sequencing window. The next thing you need to do is go to automation which will set up a lane for the automation. Now what I want to do is automate the Dr. Rex loop that I've got here which will start at bar 5. I want it to come in gradually so as you'll see on the mixer at the moment this is what I want it to do. Something like that. Let's get a bit louder. So I'm going to automate that on the mixer. Now the first thing I need to do is take a look at what channel number it is. So I've got beats on number 1, snare on 2, hats on three so I'm looking over and it's number six channel six of mixer one so channel six so I go back down to where it says mixer in the sequencing lane automation the drop down for automation and I want channel six level that then draws a lane for me which is channel six level it's on the next thing I need to do is take my t pencil tool which is here and draw a box that will be the box we're going to put information in. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. Then, if I double click on this box, it will take me into part mode as opposed to track listing mode. So that will take me back to the main track mode, the edit mode. Um, then, if I use my pencil tool again, I can just draw the level I want. So it will come in gradually. Actually, that might be a bit more like that. Now, as you see, first of all, I'll go back into the edit mode. And it's already done this for me. The tracks mode. As you see up here, a little green line's gone round the the fader. This indicates that there is automation on that fader. So when I press play, automates. I can do exactly the same with panning. So I go back down to mixer. Remembering that it's channel six, I drop the automation down and find panning. It's not there. All I've got is mute and level. So I need to add more parameters. So I click on more parameters and a new window comes up and it's a, a checkbox window. So I just need to check channel 6 pan then OK and it will add the channel 6 pan for me. Then I draw in a box here then double click on that box and using the pencil tool I can do the old cheesy thing of left to right And once I've done that, it will automate the panning for me from left to right of the. Left to right of the panning. And as you can see, if we come up here, again, that's got green on it, which means that when I wind it back to where it starts, you'll see it automates.
you can do that with any channel on here you just need to remember which channel number it is you can also do it with the sends so if you wanted to send it some send some reverb you do that as well you can automate anything on this mixing disk but you have to use the mixer window that's how to automate the main channels and panning and everything else on the mixing desk in Reason.